Hi, how you doing? Justin here. Today I want to explain to you why it is really, really important that you use some kind of strap locks on your guitar. Particularly on Gibson style guitars where the headstock goes back, but I have strap locks on every single one of my guitars and I think it's a really, really important safety feature for you. Uh, I have actually seen the headstock break off a Gibson Les Paul, a vintage one at that, because the guy didn't have strap locks on. It is a really, really essential little bit of kit. There's a few different options. I tend to use one made by Shala, which is a, uh, a locking system that fits onto your strap and then you, put a, you have to replace the little nut on the guitar. And they kind of lock together and they won't come off. And that's what I tend to use myself. Uh, I'm going to show you that in a close-up in a second. Uh, but there are a couple of cheaper options as well. One is this little uh, plastic kind of strap clip that goes on over your regular strap, which is made by Dunlop. It's only a couple of pounds or a couple of dollars. Uh, very cheap, but works just as good as having the fancy uh, locking metal ones. Uh, and there's another option, which uh, uh, if any of you uh, like beer, this is a Grolsch beer, the imported one with a special kind of metal top. And uh, if you uh, pop the top, whee, uh, and have a quick sip, uh, you'll find that there's this little uh, red seal that goes around the metal thing. Sorry, it's foaming a bit. Uh, and if you take that off, that also makes a fantastic strap lock. So I'm going to show you all three of these different uh, ones and why you should do it in a close-up. So uh, let me put this to one side and I'll just jump up on my little stool up here. So you know, here you can see there's the, the, the straps on the guitar as normal, you know, regular strap, leather strap, just on the regular button. I had to take off my fancy kit there to put that one on. But look, if, it, if I'm just sitting like this, particularly sitting going to standing, if I lean down on the floor to pick something up, you can see that how the strap's twisted. So if I stand up now, look, bang, strap's off. And if I didn't know that was going to happen and I just stood up, the guitar would definitely be on the floor. So let's have a look at these different options. So once that's on, uh, this is the first little doovy that we've got, which is made by Dunlop. It's just a really small piece of plastic with a kind of rotating bit in the top. So if we put that over the top of the strap button and turn the little inside thing around like that, 90 degrees, there we go. That is now absolutely locked on. There's no way that's coming off. I mean, I, maybe if I really yank the life out of it, I could get it off. But that, that is a really good solution and it only costs a couple of bucks. It's a little bit fiddly getting it on and off which is why I use the other type, but uh, that's really good. Now, here's our bottle of Grolsch. So if, again, we just open that top bit, you can see here there's this little red kind of rubber washer. You could probably use any rubber washer, but if you use the Grolsch one, you get a free beer with it, which is always a good thing. So you've just got this little rubber washer there. So if you pop that over the top, it's nowhere near as secure as the other one, but it's made a huge difference as to trying to get that strap off the... It's definitely not going to fall off accidentally. I could definitely yank it off. Yeah, if I, but that took a hell of a lot of force and it's not going to happen accidentally. So the old uh, gross bottle top is good. It's not as good as using one of these, but you get the free beer, so it's kind of, you know, one or the other. Now, the other, the type that I regularly use I've got one here on my Stratocaster. Is this, uh, you have to actually change the button. So you unscrew the original button and you put this kind of button on. And you have to, oh, hang on. He says, oh, I sound like an old man there. You have to change the thing on your strap. So you can see it's got this little kind of hook on it. And a little, this little thing in the top here pulls up and that's what releases it. So this one, you have to put it on pull it and it'll click, and once it's clicked, it will not come off. There's no way that that's going to come off that guitar until I pull that little, the little button in the top, I pull the button and then I can release it. So what I've done is I've put this type of locking nut on all of my guitars, uh, so I can just change the straps around as I feel like it. Uh, but uh, it is a little bit more expensive. I mean, they're 20 quid, I think, about you know $20, $25, something like that. So they're not that expensive and, you know, it's a really, really useful bit of kit. I really hope this lesson saves you some money in that you don't drop your guitar. Uh, as I said, strap lock, not very expensive, 
really, really useful and it could save you thousands of pounds in repair bills. So uh, I hope you'll heed my advice and get strap locks on all your guitars. Take care, see you for more lessons and tips and songs and stuff very soon. Take care, bye-bye.